I guess in parts, the, the other question to consider here is, we, we, I mean, Bob May and Matt Carp have done really nice work with regard to like the South wanting to expand into the Caribbean and um, we have Walker and Lopez who are going on filibuster expeditions into Cuba and uh, Nicaragua. And um, there's this kind of outlook that the South will kind of create this hemispheric empire southwards into, into Latin America. Um, but you're indicating not just that Southerners looking at say New Mexico and Southern California it's places to expand. And we'll look a little bit at what they're thinking about there, but it, it even sounds like they're looking at, at Hawaii and the Asian Pacific region as targets for expansion. Yeah, they are. Um, and and I, I came to this, to this topic largely through the work of Bob May and then later Matt Karp, um, I, was, I was interested almost first and foremost in Southern expansion um, and what forms that takes and, and where it takes them. Um, and like you said, they've done excellent work on the Atlantic world. Um, but Southerners were, you know, they were capable of looking in two directions at once. They could look west of the Pacific and they could look southeast to the Caribbean. Um, and they saw, say, the, the 600 million uh, Asian consumers as a prime market for uh, the cotton economy. Uh, they didn't really understand much about, about the China market. Uh, I, I don't think they could have named the emperor of China, um, but they knew that there was a potential market there and they weren't entirely unsuccessful. So cotton was America's number one export to China through most of this period. Um, it didn't go out in huge numbers, but it went out and Southerners had reason to believe that they might, that this might sort of be an opening wedge in a much bigger trading relationship. Um, so I call the first chapter of the book, The Southern Dream of a Pacific Empire, sort of to riff off uh, mm -hmm. Bob May's really excellent work and, and help readers think about all the ways in which uh, Southern imperial agendas um, sort of radiated out 